The leak alarm will sound when the system leak is greater than the allowable maximum leak threshold for more than 45 seconds. The status indicator will illuminate yellow and the device's screen will illustrate what the problem is, as well as showing a flow meter. An audible alarm will sound every 20 seconds. To address the problem, firstly, pause the audible alarm. The question mark icon can be pressed on the device's touchscreen to access information to help resolve the alarm. When alarm sounds, press the help button that takes you directly to the IFU for on-demand troubleshooting. Scroll up or down to find the solution to the alarm. Check the dressing for leaks. When a leak has been identified, it can be temporarily blocked with finger pressure. The flow meter on the device will show if this resolves the problem. Repair any leaks with additional transparent film. The flow meter will indicate if a leak has been resolved. When the alarm is resolved, begin delivering therapy. The status indicator will revert back to illuminating green. The blockage alarm will sound when the system detects a blockage within the canister or the tubing, or the internal canister filter is covered with exudate, which may occur even if the canister does not appear visibly full. The status indicator will illuminate yellow, and a warning blockage message appears on screen. An audible alarm will sound every 20 seconds. Press the audible alarm. Press the question mark icon on the device's touchscreen to access information to help resolve the alarm. This takes you directly to the IFU for on-demand troubleshooting. Scroll up or down to find the solution to the alarm. Identify and resolve the blockage. Therapy can begin again and the status indicator will illuminate green. Carefully monitor patients for signs of bleeding, which may lead to interruption in therapy and hemodynamic instability. If such symptoms are observed, immediately discontinue therapy, take appropriate measures to control bleeding and contact the treating clinician. For patients with a high risk of bleeding, use the 300 milliliter canister. Ensure the canister viewing is checked frequently for signs of bleeding. The use of negative pressure presents a risk of tissue ingrowth into the foam or gauze. Tissue ingrowth may be reduced by lowering therapy pressure using a wound contact layer or by increasing the frequency of dressing changes. For detailed product information, including indications for use, contraindications, effects, precautions and warnings, please consult the product's operating manuals prior to use. If you have any questions, please contact our customer services team on 08000 157 573 or email customer.services.uki at smith-nephew.com.